let us take a question from the menstruation which is uh, looks somewhat typical if the diameter of cross section of your wire is decreased by 5% how much percent is will the length be increased so that the volume remains same let us go for the solution here let me draw some figures to understand the problem here we have taken a wire with a diameter let it be some d and which is of uh, height or length height or length is uh, let it be some l then the diameter of the cross section is decreased by 5 percent then automatically as the volume is not changing this uh, length will increases how much percent is let it be l1 this is as l2 how much percent is will be change in the length this is our task let diameter of the cross section of wire is equal to d then radius will become d by 2 and uh, length of the y is uh, taken as l1 therefore volume of the y is equal to pi r square h here pi r means radius d by 2 square into h means length of the wire is l1 let the volume as v1 v1 is equal to pi d square by 4 into l1 let it be 1 now let us uh, take the y by decreasing the diameter with 5% if we decrease the diameter by 5% new diameter will be 95% of d 95% of d therefore u diameter is equal to 95% of d that is equal to 519s 520s 19d by 20 then u radius is equal to 19d by 20 to half that is 19d by 40 which means that half of the diameter is called radius similarly let the new length is equal to l2 then volume of new wire after changing the diameter is let it be v2 pi r square h v2 is equal to pi radius is 19d by 40 and length is taken as h2 t is equal to pi 19 square 361 d square by 40 square means 400 into l2 given 
the volumes are equal volumes are equal is nothing but v1 is equal to v2 volume of the first uh, wire is pi d squared by 4 into l1 <coughs> Here uh, there is some correction. 40 square is nothing but uh, 1600. Sorry. Now volume 2 is equal to pi 361 d square by 1600 into L2. Pi pi gets cancelled. D square d square cancel. 4 one zero. 4 4 zero. 4 zeros. 4 zeros. Now L1 is equal to 361 by 400 L2 implies transfers this into LHS L2 is equal to 400 L1 by 361 this is the new length of the Y change in length change in length given by new length minus previous length that is 400 L1 by 361 minus L1 400 L1 minus 361 L1 by 361 which again equals to 39 L1 by 361 this is change in the length of the wire now let us uh, calculate the percentage percentage of increase in the length of y is equal to increase in the length divided by actual length into 100 that is equal to L1 L1 cancel 3900 by 361 percentage that is almost equal to 10.80 percentage which is our required answer. Thank you.